what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more hunter hunter hopefully you guys go ahead and check these videos out i would just like to say to you guys man thank you guys for all the support on the hunter hunter videos i think the um the two last reactions did a thousand views which is unprecedented um for this channel when i, I mean i don't want to say unprecedented um because when i was doing ippo pretty much all my ipo videos were hitting a thousand um all of them but for hunter hunter it is unprecedented um for one you know super reaction reaction whatever to hit a thousand views um so thank you guys for that um it's been an awesome time reacting to this i love the series um you know it's in my top five now animes of all times for me um and i'm loving the story i'm loving the story so last episode last reaction we did was a very bittersweet um reaction because of what has been happening to gone over time and now he's finally gone over the top and it's really sad to see because he's a beloved character and you know, the sense of morality that you expect from MCs is, you know, I love the, I love the fact of, of what Tagashi did here because the common tropes of main characters has been kind of thrown out the window. And, you know, this is something that, you know, um, Kishimoto did in Naruto also, not to this extent, um, if I should say so, not to this extent, but he did show some sides of Naruto that was, n that you wouldn't expect from a normal storyline or from a normal MC, you know, so, um, so th there were certain points it was like, okay, I want you to mess up the enemy. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, but at the same time, you kind of felt for the enemy. You know what I'm saying? As I said, it's it, it wasn't to that extent in Naruto as what we're seeing now in, in Hunter x Hunter. Like, Hunter x Hunter's writing is miles ahead of what happened in Naruto, no doubt about it. As I said, Naruto just holds a special place for me. And that's why it's not even in my top five, because it's always going to be number one. It's always going to be number one, so I've just put it in a suitcase by itself, <laughs> you know, put it aside for itself because it's that special to me where I'm like, it's in a category by itself for for me. So it's it's not necessarily in my top five animes of all times um, because if I put it there, it's always going to be number one, no matter what nobody says, no matter if you're going to say Hunter Hunter is better or it doesn't matter what you say, I grew up on Naruto. So it it's, makes a huge difference to me because I actually had to sit down. There's a difference between how you, how I'm reacting to an reacting to to an anime that I can binge than to an anime that I have to wait a whole week to watch this. It's a huge difference. I can imagine the people who had to wait week after week for Hunter Hunter to come out when it was airing because I can bet that it was excruciated because of what I went through with Naruto because Naruto had some moments in it where you where you're like you can't do nothing but cry. I'm talking about mushy tears falling down you know um running nose <laughs> i've been through all of that with naruto the, the emotional roller coaster that i went through with the anime i'm experiencing this in in hunter hunter but i can binge hunter hunter so it's like okay this moment might be really a really sappy moment but then i can move on from it in less than a week <laughs> you get what i'm saying so you don't really get to sit in that moment as much you know what i'm saying when you get an emotional moment from from naruto i had to sit a whole week on just thinking about that thinking 
you know, how this applies, man, it's, it's crazy. But with Hunter Hunter is, is, you know, it's very emotional. The emotional roller coaster is there and I feel for God in this moment very much. So I really do feel for him because I never wanted to see him like that because he was slowly losing control. And at this moment, he's not, he's, he's so lost in the power that he's attained till he, it's like it's like his mind is gone you get what i'm saying and yes some people's gonna be like oh my god that was such a good moment but when you actually think about what the author was trying to portray through this whole arc with with gun you know what i'm saying is how slowly you know what i'm saying how slowly we can descend into the, the the darkness of our feelings because of something tragic happening to us or somebody close to us dies and and all of this other stuff so great stuff man great stuff but um so yeah man the 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 match between Meruem and Netra has been concluded now Meruem is going back to the castle and you know that was a good fight and as I said before it was a teaching moment but the teaching moment for Meruem was with Netero's fist and he had a duty to perform and he did it to perfection I believe um he, he tried to kill Meruem and Meruem was messed up man if he didn't have the king's guard he would have died he would have died for sure um from the from the nuke so I thought he would have tanked it but man he got messed up. I'm surprised he wasn't like just ashes to the way how they took him out when they when they saw him and stuff. So let's go check this out, man. Let's dive into it. 132. I'm gonna try to get to that. That you guys said, um, you know, 135 is a really <laughs> really sad moment, guys. When you tell me that it is going to be a sad moment. That means I'm going to prepare to not, I'm going to prepare myself to not cry. I don't like crying on camera. You think I like crying in front of you guys? <laughs> I don't like crying in front of you guys, man. Like if it, if it, if the tears come, it comes. You just telling me, you know what I'm saying? For, for me to be tense up and be like, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> so, okay. So thank you guys so much for, for tuning in, man. Keep the comments coming. Thank you guys so much for everything that you guys do, man. It's, it's awesome to come on here and to be able to, you know, you know, somewhat entertain you guys with, you know, you seeing me reacting. So, as I said, man, the gratitude is not enough for me to thank you guys. So, remember to like, okay, always, um, not always, but for this one, we're going for 75 likes again. You guys have been killing it, um, liking the videos and commenting, so thank you guys for all the great comments that you leave educating me and all the other people that watch the videos also that you know peek at the comment section but don't want to don't want to um say nothing <laughs> but anyways man thank you guys for tuning in let's go watch this let's go do this okay so Man, you guys weren't weren't kidding. I can understand. I uh, started to tear up there a little bit at the end. Um, that is a that is the culmination of just a great story. I know the arc is not done yet. Of course, they're probably gonna wrap it up in the next episode or so. But we'll watch that next time. Um, the reason why, you know, I think that, you know, 135 is better than 131, in my opinion, is to see, to see an episode play out the way that it did. 130, 131 one was brilliantly done in the case of Gunn. But in 135, you got this, 
I don't even want to call him an antagonist anymore because he's really not an antagonist in the grand scheme of things. But it showed the change and explained it through actions, through his words, not just, and to also for Palm to recognize is the change and also realizing her herself being an ant and a human can understand what he's going through even though what she was saying she wanted him so much to be bad to be a terrible terrible bad inhumane person but he is the change that he's that he's taken up on himself to be different once he heard her name again. You know what I'm saying? To to be that person of understanding. And one of the things to where I can relate in that is like I hate when people lie to me and that's and you know. I hate when I find out that people have been lying to me. I hate it. I know most people do. Some people just they don't care. But I just don't I don't like it because it's so it can be so damaging to 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 yourself to, to you know not I'm not talking about mental issues. I'm talking about it can damage you in decisions that you make in your life because that person lied to you. So I love the fact that he was he was continuously telling Pooh, stop lying, bro. I know we are one. He keeps he kept saying that to him. We are one now. So stop trying this going behind my back, doing all of this stuff. Just tell me what's good, man. I know you're doing this out of loyalty. Just tell me what's good. You know what I'm saying? But he refuses. And the thing about it is like, in turn, you got to look at Poof's dilemma also because he just wanted the king to be great. He wanted him to be the leader of the Chimera Ant and to lead the revolution of the new species taking over. You know what I'm saying? And for them to be at the top of the food chain. I get that. But what I don't get is that why can't he decide what to do because that's also a, a, a another thing that goes into that you can pull from this is also making decisions for yourself man no matter what you know a lot of times people are born to do certain things you know what i'm saying and they feel like they have this obligation because oh my mom my mom is pushing me to do this or my dad is pushing me to do this or my friends are pushing me to do this when it's not really what I want. He found something that was more important than being the king. And that's what Poof was afraid of. He didn't want him to become so humane to the point where he forget that he has this monumental um, responsibility and it completely veered him away from it who knows what would have happened if he survived and he wasn't poisoned who knows what would have happened but I think it would have been good stuff if he wasn't dying I don't think it would have been I think he would have been able to sit down with the leaders of the world and be reasonable you know, but at the same time, it will also create an atmosphere of um, loyalty because of fear. You never want to scare people into serving you and to be of service to you. Never. You never want to rule people out of fear. Um, you never want that. And I don't wish that on anyone. I don't want that to happen it's for you to be under no leader that's like that. And... There's going to be some people who's going to follow him because of fear of getting killed. 
it's understandable. You know, so that there's also that part of it that you got to look at also. So that was a beautiful scene at the end. I'm glad that he got to to die with her. You know, it's hard to talk about it because it's it's a really I'm a sucker for 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 love stories, man, and you know, and it's a classic love story. It's really a classic love story. It has nothing to do with you know um you know them getting married but it also represents a relationship that can happen between different species if you want to look at it as interracial you know what i'm saying if you want to look at it like that it also goes to show you that you love who you love she's blind she got a runny nose all the damn time you know what i'm saying she's always hysterical but she's super smart. There's also those positives. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's also an example of why love is blind. You know, pun intended. You know, it's because he could see her, but but she can't see him. You know what I'm saying? And Oh my God, this is such a beautiful story, man, that, you know, it's, it's hard for me to talk about. You have no idea, like, it's, it's a tough subject for me because, you know, I've been through so many different things in my life, man. And when it comes on to, um, love, and you know acceptance and and all of this other stuff is is just i've i've been in the position before where i was married and i and i and and i thought this was it and it never worked out and you know it just became a huge chunk of my life was wasted you know and now i'm you know trying my hardest to bounce back and you know just to be a better person to love better to love more so it's it's good it's a good thing to see stuff like this it's a it's a classic love story it's a classic love story well written by Tagashi man that's why I said Hunter Hunter has to be in in everybody's top five no matter what because it's just the storytelling is so awesome um I don't know if I would say that this arc it's definitely one of the greatest arcs I've ever watched of all the animes that I've watched It's one of the best arcs that I've watched where there's so many different meanings to it. It might be the greatest one I've watched. But I don't want to say it is. Just yet. Because. If you're going to put it. If you're going to say. All categories of what took place during the arc. You know. Happiness. Sadness. Everything that we've experienced over these past. What is it like. Uh, about 40, 50 episodes. I don't, I'm, I don't even remember when the arc started, but about 40 episodes. I want to say about, about 40. Cause I think we started in the nineties or the late eighties or something like that. So I don't want to say it's, it's the greatest, but it's definitely, it's definitely in the top three that I've seen. There's some really, really great arcs in, in, in Ippo. Not love, you know what I'm saying? Not love story like that, but I'm talking about well-written arcs that really had me. And if you guys go back and watch, remember at the end of Ippo, I was crying because I couldn't hold it in. I couldn't hold it in because I felt like I was losing a part of me 
when the anime was over. And the way how it ended with the, the story of um, Kamigawa um, backstory, right? Kamigawa, Kamigawa's backstory. Um, it was a very touching story because you get to understand who he was and why he's so intense and why he kind of hides his feelings a lot too. So it's, it's just, oh my God, this, this, this anime is great guys. I can't, I can't like, I could sit here and gives you a, a ton of adjectives, you know, to describe this anime and this arc that we just watched. And, you know, I'm not a, a boohoo crier. But it that definitely it definitely got it got to me. I did almost cry. I was sitting here and you have no idea. I'm listening to what's going on and I'm feeling it. My heart is above beating faster. You know what I'm saying? I'm swallowing my saliva. <laughs> I'm doing everything that I can to not cry on camera. But if it's too overwhelming, it does come out. Um, but you know. I, my eyes did get watery, you know, and, you know, I was trying to, I was holding it back. I was like, you're not going to cry. You're not going to cry. You're not going to cry. <laughs> but it was great, man. It was good. Thank you guys so much for suggesting this anime once again, man. I didn't know that Hunter x Hunter was this good. I've, as I said before, I started to watch Hunter x Hunter and I got up to the, to the Hunter exam arc and I stopped watching I stopped watching. I don't know why I stopped watching at the time. Maybe it's because I was maybe in the process of moving. Maybe I, I went through a lot. <laughs> okay. In, in my twenties, I went through a lot, you know, bouncing back and forth from place to place. I think one time I was living and I had no internet and stuff like that. So it, it's no, I, I used to have to go to the, the library to use the internet at one point. Um, because for some reason, this apartment complex that I was living in at the time, they, the, the cape, the, the internet service, we couldn't get internet service there, which, which it bothered us so much at the time because we had to either go to the library to use the internet or we had to leave the house if we wanted to, to use the internet. So that was kind of like, it, it was tough. Um, you know, because the service we wanted, we couldn't get it there. And I mean, it does change now because this was like, I want to say probably around 10 years ago. So, um, so I'm pretty sure that that apartment complex must be, you know, cause they were like, Oh, we soon have it. You soon be able to get internet and stuff like that. You know, there were promises, but they never came through. So thank you guys again for tuning in, man. It's been great. Thank you guys so much. For watching these reaction for supporting these reaction hopefully you guys um you know you understand where i'm coming from when it comes on to this story um we still have some more episodes left i think uh probably around 10 episodes i haven't checked but um thank you guys so much for tuning in I'll, i'm definitely looking forward to see what is going to happen next so remember guys to like Leave a comment. And also, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of people watching this channel that's not subscribed. Subscribe to the damn channel, man. What y'all waiting on? Y'all know I'm the y'all know I'm the real deal. What's good? You're a terror squad. I am Mr. Terabyte Reacts. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.